new videos every day. Hello, welcome to Psyche Truth. My name is Melissa Lemunyan, and I'm here today with the lovely Karina Rachel to show you a Lust Stone back massage. So we'll be using hot stones on Karina's back to address back pain. And for the rest of this video, we'll, I will be discussing tips for you at home to adjust your back pain as well. Just to kind of show you, here are two of the stones that I'm going to be working with today. Um, these are just two basalt river stones and um, they were selected to specifically be used as tool stones. So, whoops, the stones are very playful. They like to kind of run around and make my life difficult. Um, all right, can we take a deep breath? So that was one of the first things that you can do at home to help with your back pain, and that is to breathe. The, I think uh, I think one of the, the things a lot of people run into is that we're just not in our bodies, and so Either, either we're having pain so intense that it it forces us to focus and to stay in our bodies, um, or you know we just kind of just disassociate from it. And you know, for both kinds of pain, um, including you know just the, the more minor kinds, taking a deep breath. And a deep, full breath, you know, a full inhale and a full exhale that, that changes the inside of your body and you allow more oxygen to enter the bloodstream. Ah. And, you know, circulation is a big piece of back pain. Um, so that's my first tip, is to breathe. I am using Karina and I's favorite body care product, which is coconut oil. Um, coconut oil is full of healthy fats that nourish the skin. Um, coconut oil is also one of the only oils that um, can uh, it can get through the the skin, you know, the, the barrier of the skin, so it absorbs really easily and readily into the skin and hair. You know, if you ever want to put coconut oil in your hair, um, that's what I did before coming here this morning. And Karina's gonna get some more in her hair, whether she likes it or not. Um, no, I haven't even pulled out the stones yet. Let's see. Before I get to my second tip for back pain, um, uh, we received a comment I think yesterday or the day before about one of my other massage videos, which, you know, guys, I have a ton of videos, so check me out. I do lots of reflexology and other back stuff. Um, anyways. This person was just commenting that they didn't think that my uh, outfit or whatever I was wearing was very professional. And, you know, when I was, you know, planning to come for that shoot, Karina had said, you know, just think comfortable and fun and cute. And I brought some professional stuff, but they just didn't seem right. And so when I was getting ready today, I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to wear my, my cute little polka dot dress because this dress makes me happy. and. My thought was, if um, I'm happy, you guys are happy, or might be more likely to be happy. So let me know. Do you like the polka dots? Do you think I should try and give a massage in a suit? Um, 
think that would be kind of uncomfortable. Although it might look kind of cool. So let me know what you think in the comments. So anyways, on to the next tip for back pain. Um, you know, you can't see it right now, but this is a, this stone is actually warm. Um, I keep my, when I'm do, giving a, a Listone massage, I keep my river rocks in an old turkey roaster to keep them hot. And so this stone is heated to about 110 degrees. Um, and so the second tip is using heat. If you have uh, a, you know, a heating pad, or if you could take a hot bath with Espen salts in it. Um, you could also theoretically go get a go get a river rock yourself and um, warm it up, you know, in the oven or something. Just, you know, obviously be careful of the temperature. Ah, there's a nice little knot right there, my dear. Oh, oh honey. And so anytime we, you know, I'm already, you know, I'm already working on Karina, you know, I'm, I'm, even before using the stones, I've been using my hands. And so I'm already leveraging my one tool. And so if I add, you know, a rock, this literally makes every single stroke that I, I do on the body more effective. Um, I think the logic in La Stone therapy is about, you know, one, two, three, four, five, you know, versus this. And so that one stroke with a stone is going to have the same effect as 10 strokes with the hands, depending on technique and everything. So by adding the stone, um, which brings, you know, just weight and heft. And, you know, personally, I think it, um, there's like, you know, there's a grounding energy innate within rocks. And then I add heat. Now we have three tools working together and creating a type of synergy that is just, that makes my job as a therapist much easier. You know, working with the stones protects my wrists and my hands. All of the therapeutic benefits that my clients receive from using the stones, I receive on my hands. You know, and I feel it up in my wrists and arms. And, you know, if you're a massage therapist, thinking long term for how you plan on protecting the health and well-being of your arms and wrists and you know ultimately like your your whole body so that you can continue to do body work i think that's a really you know that's the thing i think about all the time um let's see i really like this so you, you, know, you take the stone and um there's that little juicy Kind of like a spot right in the low back. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear. Her. She's over here purring. And so you know, I really like. You guys know I like the rock and unlock, right? And so you can just. I can take the stone and I can. I can place it flat. I can use an edge. I can and I can switch my. I can change the direction of my edge. So. This is probably the equivalent of me putting, using my thumb, like, you know, my thumb and doing like direct pressure with my thumb joints. Um, so I'm getting the same effect, but without any strain. And in fact, and it, like, there's no strain, but my thumbs are also receiving the healing warmth of the stone. So my thumbs are actually getting a little bit of a, a therapy treatment themselves. Ah. <sighs> How are you feeling, girl? Oh, good. Mm. 
let's see if I can bring both of these into play at the same time. Really, I'm not sure what they're gonna do. I hope they sh I hope they show you guys some shots of my of my rocks. I think they're so gorgeous. I was telling Karina earlier that I I kind of um, sometimes I'll talk to my sons the way you would your pets, you know. But you guys already know I'm a little bit a little bit out there. <sighs> All right. So so far we have. Using. Oh god, what were my tips? Um, the first one was breathing. So you can use your breath to help reduce tension and pain. And you know, something you can also do if you notice you have a really specific sore spot in your back is you can get, you know, if you when you have some time and you're in a comfortable place, you can um, you know sit, sit or lay supported. And you can just fo you know take deep breaths and focus your breath into that spot. And I bet within five to ten breaths, like really like five whole deep full with like a heavy belly exhale, like those will help you feel better. So the second tip, the third tip I have, um, is also involves temperature, and it's going to it's it's about the therapeutic use of cold, and then combining cold and hot together. So, I mean, you if you've ever laid on a hot stone by the river, you know how good it feels. Like your whole body body just is able to just relax and melt. And so that's that's what I'm doing now. Is I'm kind of melting the tissue, so to speak, with this hot stone. And slightly warm at this point because um, Karina had some tension in her low back and so I've drawn out all the blood from the tissue I have created I've drawn more circulation to the area and so now with this gorgeous uh, sardonyx marble stone um, the marble stones conduct the cold Whereas the basalt, um, you know, this this was uh, formed, you know, from lava. So this is a heat conductor. So now I'm just going to gently apply it. So what the, what's happening right now is the shock of the cold is drawing fresh blood to the area. So that's the initial response, and then you give it about 10, 20 seconds. The cold will drive all of the blood out of this area thereby forcing the body's circulation to bring new oxygenated blood to this area of tension and pain. All right. And then just kind of use the edge of the stone, the top of her hip. A lot of therapists find that using the combination of hot and cold in La Stone Massage, it allows them to move knots and to move areas of tension that just plain touch, plain touch can't address or can't address as effectively. Um, I like to use I like to use the cold stones on the upper back because the upper back is usually a very tight congested area. There's also also a lot of chronic inflammation as the front of the body, you know, forces the um, the upper back, the rhomboids, the trapezius to lengthen 
and stretch out. And so, you know, this the cold stone is actually very therapeutic for these overstretched muscles because it is it's going to help them to contract back towards their original shape. And if it can't do that, it will just at the very least reduce the inflammation that's gathered. And this is just kind of a fun leveragey thing. I mean, so I'm trying to gauge how much pressure. Because it's something that's kind of hard. I can't, you know, necessarily tell. cold would be really great for any kind of knots that you have on the tops of your shoulders. Especially really specifically, you know, if you found if you if you found that trigger point, then you can bring some kind of cool temperature to the area that will be you know that it's going to it's going to force that collection of congested fluid and tissue to to move and change so i'd like to use the cold stones on the back because the back of the body is at least in our western culture tends to be overstretched and over under pressure, under siege, it's it's being they're being these muscles are these muscle groups are being pulled by the um, muscle groups in the front of the body that we're using, you know, to you know to sit and to drive. And, um, so, because you might be thinking, oh, well, why why don't I just you know why don't I focus primarily on hot stones? to, you know, because hot, the heat is going to, you know, soothe and feel really good. It's going to release the tissues. However, since the back of, since the, one of the main reasons your back and the back of your body hurts is because of the overcompensation in the front of the body. You know, if I lengthened and loosened all of Karina's back muscles, you know, but with, you know, I, I could be making things worse. I'm, I'm setting up her back to be more stretched and more pulled and more distorted by the malfunction of the front of the body. You know, not that Karina's body is malfunctioning, it's just more as a general, as a general rule of thumb, people in the Western world, people, you know, that I work with, um, because of our lifestyles that involve sitting and driving and lots of things, you know, that have to do with us kind of like being forward. I don't want to just leave Karina's back muscles warm and loose and relaxed. And personally, I like when I get when I get my back massage, I if everyone has so much pain right here and so people want this airy rub, I can't stand it. I mean, I just, I know that it'll feel good for a little bit, but I know that the core reason my shoulders are hurting, it's not going to be helped by somebody rubbing my trapezius muscles. If I really want to address my shoulder pain, you know, I want my therapist to open up my chest and to work on my hips and the front of my body. And so I'm going to be doing that to Karina later on, but in the meantime, for the back, that's why I'm going to take this nice, cool stone, and this is going to encourage her muscles to tighten. Tighten's not quite the right word, but it's essentially what's happening. They've been, they've been relaxed, and now they're going to be encouraged to come back into their proper shape with fresh, oxygenated blood coming in that will allow healing to happen if it's necessary, you know? And I think a lot of us, Karina included, could use, use some healing on their backs.
thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Melissa Lemunian. I hope that you are able to take some of these relaxing tips home with you to help with your back pain. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe to Psyche Truth so that you can catch all of our upcoming content and exciting new videos. If you want to see more of me, my name, oh sorry, my website is sensibletoolbox.com.